Leon, we turn to a truly shocking story in this California neighborhood, reminiscent of the women who escaped a predator in Cleveland. A woman missing for a decade turns up alive, and tonight police say this man held her captive, abducting her when she was just 15 years old. And that's only the beginning. Detectives also say the woman was forced into marriage, gave birth to a child her suspected captor fathered. Roz Plater live in our newsroom with more on this true torture she faced. Roz, how was she able to escape? We're told that she recently found her sister on Facebook and that gave her the courage to tell her story to police. Now investigators say she was rarely left alone that her captor even got them both jobs as overnight janitors so he could keep an eye on her. The now 25 year old victim and her alleged captor lived right out in plain sight in the Southern California apartment complex. Authorities say he had forced her to marry him and that she has a child with him. To their neighbors, everything seemed normal. The neighbor right there, she was a babysitter for the little girl. The one right there and the friend of the house, yeah. I would never suspect that, <laughs> never, never. Police say 41-year-old Ysidro Garcia drugged and kidnapped the 15-year-old girl back in 2004. At the time, he was her mother's live-in boyfriend. On the run, investigators say, he used fake documents to hide their identities. And twice when she tried to escape, he beat her. Tells her that her mother's not looking for her. She's on her own. Now, you got to remember, this is a 15-year-old girl that's only been in the country for six months. She doesn't know where to go. She doesn't know what to do. She's in a strange city. He's all she's got. That's when the brainwashing starts. Her story and that of the kidnapped Cleveland women rescued after a decade is a reminder, advocates say, that families should never give up hope. I think cases like this do demonstrate that other children could probably still be out there and we can't give up hope on long-term missing children. We're told tonight that the victim and her child are both reunited with her family. Her captor has his day in court tomorrow. He faces charges of both kidnapping and rape. Live in the Satellite Center on Ross Plater, ABC 7 News.